Hey guys, Jennifer here from My Purpley Life and today's Tuesday tip, I am going to be sharing with you all how to create some A5 size inserts for your ring bound planner. First off, when I am printing A5 inserts, I want to cut down my paper to A5 size. Now, in the US, we have letter size standard paper. I believe in the UK it is A4 is your standard size and some other parts of the world have different um, size standard size paper but in the US um, I'm going to be doing this tutorial mainly on the letter size so to get A5 size paper from a letter size um, paper limetreefruits.com which is created by Rain she has provided this really neat um, cutting guide to cut A5 size paper. So we're going to be cutting along this line here. We're following this guide. This side here is going to be your A5 size paper. On this side is going to be scrap paper. As you can see, she put a little bubble here that says scrap paper. Or you can use these as um, subcategories. She has a great tutorial on her page as well as how to cut inserts using this template. I'm also going to show it here on this video and we're going to be cutting along this edge here as well. This edge here is going to be um, part of that little scrap. So A5 size, technically if you um, want to do it where you don't waste any of this paper, you can just use a regular letter size paper and then cut it in half. That would also make A5 size, but then um, it will not match the size of actual A5 size paper. So if you want true to size A5 size paper, then um, this template is a really great way to do that. So I have in front of me my paper trimmer. Again, I'm using the Fiskars Shortcut Paper Trimmer. And I really like this paper trimmer because I use this for all of my card making and crafting as well because we have um, great guidelines here. But anyways, I won't be using those. And it also has a lock feature up here, so I'm going to unlock it. And then I am just going to align the paper to where it should be on the paper guide here. So I'm gonna zoom in here so you guys can really see what I'm talking about here. So my, my paper trimmer has this um, little string here that's the guide to where I'm going to cut. So I'm going to align that with the line that's already here as well. So it's about right there. It's about five and three quarters up here. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna t remove this part because I don't want to ruin my template. And I'm just going to cut this down. So now this part that I've cut off can either be scrap paper or you can also use these as inserts as well. And then what I'm going to do is I need to flip it and then cut a little bit of that off. So I'm going to follow that as well. Except this time I'm going to go down here. So about right there. And then I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see that again. Let's see here. I'll go this way so you guys can see it. And then I'm just going to trim that little bit off. And then discard this small piece right here. So now I have here my A5 size paper. And now we just go off to the computer and then 
put this into my printer. Let's go. Sh I'm gonna go ahead to my printer now and just load the paper into my printer so you can see how that works. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I'm here at my printer again. I'm using a Canon Pixima MX922. That's the model of my planner, and it's wireless. And I've already got my A5 size cut pages. So I'm going to remove the paper tray, which is down here at the bottom. And the great thing about this printer is that it has these guides here and it tells me where my A5 paper needs to be. So I've moved this paper tray guide from the letter size up here to the A5 size. And then I'm just gonna put my paper into the tray here and have that sit down there. And then I'm just going to push these two here to tuck that paper into the tray. So that's all ready to go. Make sure that's really snug on there. And then just slide that back into the bottom of the paper tray there and in the bottom of the printer. Now the paper that I'm using, which I've mentioned before, is by Staples and it is the color laser and copier paper. It's upside down, but it looks like this. And it is in um, 32 pound weight paper. So it's a very heavy weight paper. Um, it's equivalent to about 120 GSM weight paper. So I'm gonna go ahead now and go to my computer and show you all how I print A5 size inserts. Okay, so here we are on filofaxi.blogspot.com where you have lots of resources about Filofax and also some free printables. So I'm going to go here on under diary in inserts And I'm going to look for A5 format. I am looking for the month per page horizontal format. And I'm going to click on the document file. I'm just gonna open it. I wanna make sure that's the right one. Okay, that's the one I want. So now, I'm not a big fan of the font that it comes with and this is why I chose the document file. So all I'm going to do is just select all and change it to the font that I want. And that's going to change the font for the whole document. There. I'm also gonna make it bold just because, oops, it's very light. So that's how that looks like. And these are for 2015. And I love using these inserts specifically for my blog planning. Um, these are also great for um, budget planning or for your bill pay. You can, for example, write on February 3rd, um, car payment due or something like that. So that's how I would use these inserts as well. So now I want to go ahead and print this out. What I want to print out first is the odd pages. So everything that's going to be on the left hand side of the page would be your odd page. And then once you get, once you've printed out all the odd pages, then you can go ahead and print out everything that's on the right, which is going to be your even pages. So we just go to print. printer should come up there it is make sure you have the right printer on here now when it comes to here it says scale to paper size first off I want to set my printer to make sure that it knows I'm already printing an A5 size paper I'm going here to properties let me zoom in here so you guys can see that properties and here I says printer paper size so that says A5 size. You can see it, you can change it to whatever you need to. So I have A5 size here. Make sure the orientation is right and portrait size. I have regular paper. Everything else is okay. 
So then I just click OK. And then scale to paper size. I'm also going to scale it on here to the A5 size. Then I, I'm going to go to um, print right here. It says all pages in range. I'm going to change that to odd pages. And then I'm going to click OK. And let's check back with my printer. So I'm here in my printer and I'm watching how the pages are coming out of my printer. You need to know how the printer actually prints. So as you can see, I'm facing my printer and the inserts are upside down. And the, the side which I would punch the holes in is on this side when I'm looking at it. So I need to keep this in mind when I'm going to place this back into my printer. You might need to print out a couple test sheets first before you actually print out the entire thing just so that you can see how your printer prints. You wanna learn how to do that first so that you don't waste any ink or anything. So um, I'm gonna let this go ahead and finish and I'll check back in just a bit. Okay, so now that all my inserts have finished printing, I can see that November is on the top and the first page that I printed out is now on the bottom. So if I were to go ahead and print out the even pages, I need February to be behind January, not behind November. So I'm going to rearrange these pages now. So I'm going to put November on the bottom, then September, then July, then May, March, and January. So that when this prints out, I know for sure February is going to be behind January. Another thing too that when this prints out, now I'm going to put this back into my paper tray here. You guys can see it. Now if I were to just put this in not knowing what's happening inside my printer, this might print out the wrong way. I know for a fact that when I print out my pages, this what happens in my printer is that it does this sort of thing with the paper. So if I were to leave it like that, then the top of the month would be here and that would be incorrect. That would be upside down. So now what I need to do is also flip this over. So now the month is on the top here so that when this prints out, it prints out like this and then the month will be on top. So let's go ahead and leave that there. Also some printers you might need to flip this upside down and you just need to figure out which way your printer prints so that way you don't have any problems and you want to avoid, um, you know, any wasting any ink or wasting paper. So do a trial run first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's go back to my computer. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to go to here and print. And then in the print box, I want to make sure that all my settings are still correct. So things have gone back to what they were previously. So I'm going to click properties, make sure that's still A5 size paper that's in the cassette. I'm going to scale the paper size to A5 size. And then I'm going to go here where it says print all pages in range. And now I'm going to change it to even pages. So I want to print my even pages. And I'm going to click OK. So now what's happening is that everything that's on the right hand side is going to print. So it's going to be February, April, 
June, and so on. So it should, they should go in order now. So February should be behind January, April should be behind March, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and check my computer and make sure that is going correctly. Okay, so now that the inserts are done finished, I wanna make sure that everything is correct. So I'm going to remove this. Again, you can see that the month has printed out this way or that it has printed out backwards. And then behind it, behind November is December. And then we have October and September. So it would be like this. You would have October, November, September, August, July, and then June and May, April and March, January and February. So everything printed out correctly. So now all I have to do is just punch these pages and place them into my organizer. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so here are the inserts. Again, here's January. Then when you flip it, you have February and March. Again, you can see that the margins are a little bit wider on this side and on the inside of here. So that's how you know that it's correct because once we're going to be punching the pages on here and that's how it's going to be in your organizer. Then we have April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So that's all the um, larger margins are on this end of the paper. So now I'm going to get my paper punch. Again, it's really handy to have a, a paper punch if you decide to do your own inserts just because it just makes everything so much easier than having a single hole punch. So if you like to make your own inserts or print a lot of printables and put them into your organizer, then a paper punch is the way to go. This is from Time System US and I have done a review on it, so please check that out if you're interested about this punch. So um, I wanna make sure this is set for the A5 size. So I wanna make sure that these are all the way on the outside. And then check my paper guide, which is on the side of this punch right here. And then just slide that out till it's at A5 size. I know the lighting's horrible, but there is a paper guide here that says A5. And then I wanna make sure that um, that's set there. So when it comes to punching my pages, all I have to do is make sure that it's set on that paper guide. I'm actually gonna do maybe like a couple at a time because this is really thick paper. That's at the edge there. Mommy. For some reason my paper just keeps misaligning. Or did I just not cut this straight? Okay. And that's at the end there. So all I have to do now is just punch that. And there you go. I'm gonna do that with the rest of my pages. Only grabbing a couple at a time, making sure that it's even on that edge of, on that side of the paper so that all my holes will align perfectly. And I think I have just two more left. Again, just sliding it in and then putting the top edge to that paper guide, punching that, and let's grab my organizer.
and flip to where I want to put these pages. And make sure that fits into my organizer well. And it does. And that's it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I do have a little quick um, that I want to something really quick that I want to show you that I've also printed out these inserts here, but in the landscape. So all I did was go to my settings here. Let's go ahead and look back at my computer. So all I did was I created this little chart here that I am going to be using for my blog planning. With I'm just uh, made a table and then created that and then left a little space up here for my um, hole punches. So I went to, let's see, let's see if we can create one. A blank document. I think I went to page layout. And then I went to size. And then I just clicked A5 size, and then that gave me an A5 size paper. So you can make one this size. I, um, again, made a landscape one. So again, went to page layout, and then orientation, and just made it landscape. So that's what that looks like there. And then I just made the table. Then when you go to print, again, you want to make sure that you your paper is set to A5 size. I've already cut down my paper. And scale the paper to size. I want to make sure that that's A5 size. And then in the properties, I want to change the, let me see. Actually, where did it go? I want to change the orientation here under paper size to landscape so that I can print out so that the paper will come out this way instead of the portrait size. So really quickly, since that's already printed out, so I'm just going to punch this to show you guys how that would look like. Again, I'm going to set this to A5 size and just slide that in there. So it's a little off. I probably could have made this go down a little bit more, but um, that's fine. What I need mainly is what's on here, so that's on there. So I'm going to grab my organizer and then just slip that in like so. So now I have my chart that's that way as well. Thanks again for watching. Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with my latest videos. I'll see you all next time. Bye!